This is a tutorial on the Pacha Copy FOV to Camera Tool. So as we know, we can set the FOV of cameras with this tool right here. And when you do it, you have to type these in percentage. So some of the tools are a little bit inconsistent. So on this particular one, we've got no cropping at all. And this one here, we see there's a little bit of a crop. Now if we want to see uh, with an old-fashioned tool exactly what the cropping is, we can go here to get FOV and here it's going to display the fact that it's 0.1 on the left, so that's 10%, on the right it's 0.9, which is 90%, and then uh, top and bottom it's going to be 0 and 1, which is 0% and 100% uh, on the top. But there's a newer tool that we can use also, which is the copy to FOV tool here. So when you open it up, you want to refresh it. So what we'll notice is that uh, it copies from the sources cropping to the destination. So in this one here, let's find out. So in this one, this is uncropped. Now we call the alternate. That's also the same. And this one here in the main, we've got a crop. So what we want to do is this one that says rectilinear only would refresh there and we see this cropping and then our target we want to have that cropping so all I have to do is just hit copy FOV and it crops it so you can copy from any camera and any one of its four alternates to any other camera and any one of its four alternates. You can also type an absolute values here and these again there's an inconsistency between being percentage and just normalized so let's put in like a 0 0.2, 0 0.8 and a top let's say 0 0.9 and bottom 0 0.1 let's see whether this works. Yeah so that gives us the effect we want and then uh, hit the refresh button and then we could take this and then we could copy it to another destination here. Also, one other thing to remind you of is that when you use the traditional tool of set FOV, that you can have it applied to just one particular proxy that you're working on or to all the different proxies.